Okay, we're going to try to make Connect 4 in under 50 lines of code uh, after we minify it. Um, and Connect 4 is a game where we play on a board, and the board is generally uh, 7 uh, wide, actually, uh, and 6 tall. Uh, and um, I'm going to make each block, each grid size, uh, to be 100 pixels. Um, and uh, we're just going to set the size to... Now, normally we do W times BS, H times BS, uh, and that would be 700 by 600, but... Um, uh, the JavaScript version of processing doesn't allow you to do that, so we're going to do uh, width of 700 and height of 600. We're going to hard code the size there. Okay, we're also going to do ellipse mode corner, and we're going to use the ellipse command later, and I'll talk about this. Okay, um, when we draw the board, uh, we're going to do a uh, two-dimensional uh, board, and so we need two loops. And I'm just going to do actually both uh, declarations here, and uh, i equals zero. I'll do it a little bit smaller, i is with i++, plus plus. okay, um, and it's going to be a bunch of uh, rectangles. I could have drawn lines for the board as well, and uh, if you were to run the program right now, then you would see a grid. Okay, great. Um, now, um, depending on what's in the board, we're going to draw either, I'm going to pick red or green circles, so if the board is greater than zero, uh, then we're going to draw an ellipse, and um, Ellipse I times VSJ times VSVS VS, VS. Okay, and uh, the color of the ellipse, the fill, uh, let's make it red if it's a 1. Okay, and then green if it's a uh, 2. Okay, okay, so and right now if we run it, um, oh, I never created the board. All right, okay, so we need to create a board, uh, and it's a two dimensional array. Uh, and the size of the board is uh, 7 by 6, um, so equals new int. Now I can also just do h by w here. Um, okay, so this should be an empty board. Okay, so we're actually not seeing any ellipses, and the reason why is because the board is empty. If we did board uh, 0, 0 equals 1, then we should see one at the top left corner. If we did board 1, 1 equals 2, then we should see an you know, one right of the yeah, uh, green circle. Okay, so these are the pieces. Okay, so excellent. Um, now uh, we need to have the ability to put pieces onto the board uh, under some conditions. Um, and also, it, this is going to be a two player game, so sometimes when you click, it's going to create uh, red pieces, sometimes green pieces. And so um, let's create a void mouse pressed. Okay. And uh, let's also create an integer representing the current player. Okay. And uh, we want it so that, depending on um, where you click, it's going to calculate the, the position, which column you clicked on. And so the x column is the mouse x divided by the, the bs. And we also need to calculate where it drops into. Now that's actually a little bit non-trivial, so let's make a function called uh, next space. Space, index. Okay. And this is going to compute where the next space is going to drop into. It's going to start at the the the, the bottom and see if which, which is the first empty slot. So we're going to start at uh, int y equals h minus 1, and then we're going to go up. Okay, and if the board at that position uh, is a 0, then we'll uh, return it. Otherwise, uh, you know, we didn't find an empty space. Okay. Um, and so in here, when you click, the x position is based off where you click, but the y position is based off the space at that position. Okay. And assuming your uh, that position is movable, then we'll put uh, the current player uh, player into that spot, uh, and then we'll switch the player to the next player. Player equals the other player. So if player is one, and then player is going to become two. Otherwise, we're going to switch back to player one. Okay. So right now, um, if I click, you can see I can fill up the board. Now it's not checking if anybody won, uh, and that's that's important. And that's actually going to be the the largest part of this program. Okay. Um, so to talk about how we're going to calculate the winner, let's create a function called get winner. Okay. And uh, what's going to do is going to go through, I'll uh, see, rows, columns, diagonals. Okay. Uh, and um, it needs to do that by checking whether, you know, starting from this position, is there four in a row? Starting from this position, is there four in a row? Starting from this position, is there four in a row? Et cetera. Okay. To make this function easier, I'm just going to go over the entire board, all six times seven, uh, 42 positions. And um, 
I'll check for four in a row here. Now, when we get to here, for example, one, two, three, four, well, you'll go off the board. And so I'm going to create a function called uh, int p for piece, uh, and it's going to tell us uh, what, uh, basically, this is going to just be return board yx, but if it's off the board, it's going to return a zero. So return if it's off the board. Uh, x is less than 0, y is greater than h, x greater than or equal to width, then it's going to return a 0. Otherwise, it's going to return the board at that y x position. Notice that boards are you know, y first, uh, then x. And this is very, very common rows, then columns. Okay, um, great. Um, and now using that, we're going to check for winners. So uh, y equals 0, we're going to loop through each position on the board x equals 0, x is less than, I'm deliberately trying to be as space conscious as possible here. Okay, and uh, here, if um, the uh, position is not empty, and um, this position, this piece equals the piece to the right of it, and this piece equals the piece to the right of that, and this piece equals uh, the piece to the right of that, so that's four in a row. Then um, that player is the winner. Okay, so great. Um, okay, so now that checks for rows. We need to do something similar for columns. So if Zero and p y plus one x uh, equals uh, p of y. Actually, y. Let's do y x here. Y plus one comma x and p y comma x equals p y plus two comma x and p y comma x equals p y plus three comma x. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So that, now we check for rows and columns. Now we need to do diagonals, and uh, diagonals is a little bit different. Um, so y equals zero. Now we're going to go through each position, and also we, there's two kinds of diagonals. There's the ones that go, you know, um, this way from the top left to the bottom right, and then there's ones that go from the top right to the bottom left. Um, so um, I'm going to use an integer uh, called d for direction, int d equals negative 1, d. So these either are going to be negative 1 or 1. And I'll make a loop that goes from negative 1 to 1. OK. Uh, and um, if this is not 0, and p y in the direction, OK, y plus 1 times d comma x plus 1. Um, OK, and then it's time to start using copy paste. Should have been doing this earlier. Uh, and this is the same as uh, this. OK, and this is the same as this. OK, then we do a return p y comma x. OK, so there we go. We have now diagonals, up uh, columns, and rows. Um, and um, negative 1 actually should represent a tie. And a 0 should represent um, a uh, possibility for people to still go. So if p, y, x, if there's still zeros in the board, then we'll turn a 0. Uh, there's still possible terms. Uh, otherwise, we'll turn tie. So this will turn either. Uh, positive 1 or 2 if there's a winner, 0 if there still moves, a negative 1 if it's a tie. Okay, great. Uh, a function runs. And so uh, let's use this information in uh, the void draw to decide whether or not there's a winner. So if uh, get winner equals 0, that means we can actually play the game. Okay. Excellent. Uh, otherwise, um, then uh, we need to display a winner. Um, and I'm going to be really, really boring with this text. I'm just going to say the uh, winner is get winner. And so if the winner, if there's a tie, it's going to say the winner is negative one. Um, but whatever. Uh, and then uh, let's say 
press, let's say press space to restart, or space restarts, and this is just being as simple as possible with divided by two height divided by two. Okay, uh, and then um, if you press a key and the key is a space, then we restart. So player equals one, and um, we're gonna copy this for loop that goes through each position of the board. Uh, and we're going to say board yx equals zero. Okay, so now uh, if I, you know, do a very unintelligent strategy as both players that go right here, there you go. And if I press space, excellent. Okay, and how many lines do we get up to? It looks like we're at 47, so less than 50 already. Um, probably could minimize it a little bit further, you know, stuff like this. Okay, and I'm going to paste the code down below uh, and have fun.